tonight with some breaking news in the controversial race for the 76th district. More fallout over longtime Representative Roy Schmidt's abrupt party switch and allegations of a fake candidate. Late this afternoon, a prosecutor released his report of whether fraud was committed and if there will be any charges in this case. Fox 17 Janice Allen in the newsroom now with those findings tonight. Janice. Michelle, the payoff for agreeing to run who was involved in the scheme and how it fell apart, all detailed in that report. And although the prosecutor says it was ethically wrong, he says it wasn't a crime. The drama all started after 22-year-old Matt Mojack, a GNC employee and part-time college student, entered the race for the 76th district just ahead of the filing deadline back on May 15th. It was seemingly to run against longtime Dem Representative Roy Schmidt, but you may remember at the last minute, he then switched parties to run as a Republican. Mojack later withdrew from that race. Well, according to the report filed by Kent County Prosecutor William Forsythe, Mojack was in fact recruited to run by Schmidt's son, Ryan, and offered $450 to do it. Goes on to say all three players involved met up at the Secretary of State to switch Mojack's address and a voter registration to meet the requirements to run. The report outlines how Representative Schmidt then took all the paperwork all the paperwork to Lansing, handing it over to the Deputy Chief of Staff for Speaker of the House, Jace Bolger. That employee then filed Mojack's paperwork in Kent County, and then 10 minutes later, he also filed Smith's paperwork to change parties and get on the ballot as a Republican. The report lists text messages between Representative Schmidt and House Speaker Jace Bolger going over the whole scheme, and then they even reveal that Mojack was not the first person that had been recruited to run. Goes on to say that Mojack's offer was even increased to $1,000 to say on the ballot, but he still decided to withdraw. But despite all the evidence, Forsyth says he could not find any violation of Michigan election law. And although the scheme was designed to undermine the election, it was not illegal. Forsyth says if anything, Mojack could be found guilty of perjury for lying on his paperwork about being a resident of the area for 22 years. But he's decided not to file any criminal charges against him, saying that Mojack was, quote, duped into it and the least guilty of everybody involved. On another note, though, there could be some criminal violations of the state's Campaign Finance Act since Smith held a fundraiser as a Democrat when he'd already signed the paperwork to file as a Republican. He also reportedly planned to use money from his campaign account to pay off Mojack and his son for their roles in the whole thing.